Anytime you play with your buddies, your pals, watch them when they're hitting short putts and watch how they actually finish their strokes. It's kind of funny, really. You'll see a lot of people literally on a three foot putt finish like this. The ball has barely moved three feet and they're standing in a different position that they started in. And I wonder what brainwave makes them think that that's going to make you a good putter. Well, the reason they do it is fear and anxiety. But in golf, you're the one that has to control everything. So there's two ways to finish your putt, the right way and the wrong way. I just showed you the wrong way. The correct way would be very simple. If you just stood here without a putter in your hand and you swiveled your head to look at the target, that would be the correct way. What that does is it quiets down what your shoulders are doing because your arms are attached to your shoulders, which are attached to your hands, which are attached to the putter. So it's not a requirement to finish over here like you do in the Watusi or something. The other thing that I see that I think promotes this motion is when I watch amateurs putt, I can see them following the putter with their eyes. So if the eye's moving with the putter head, their body's gonna be moving that way. So, very, very important when you get over the ball, calm yourself. I do it by quieting my eyes. I feel like they're very relaxed, no blinking. And what I do then is I just focus on a dimple on the ball and I keep my eyes very quiet, no following the putter head. And when I finish, you see I'm looking at it from what I call underneath as opposed to over the top. Next time you play with your group, watch their follow through on the short putts, but chances are you're just like them too. <laughs>